Mercedes AMG has just changed the game when it comes to ultra high performance because of this, the axial flux motor. In the heart of Oxford, England, a quiet revolution began over a decade ago. It wasn't born in a massive factory or under the watchful eyes of a global corporation, but in the mind of a young engineering student, Dr. Tim Woolmer. While completing his doctorate at Oxford University, Woolmer envisioned a completely new kind of electric motor, one that could deliver astonishing power in a compact, lightweight design. That idea would eventually evolve into Yasa, a company whose technology now sits at the cutting edge of electric performance. Founded in 2009, Yasa, an acronym for Yokeless and Segmented Armature, set out to reimagine how electric motors are built. Traditional motors, known as radial flux designs, have been used for over a century. They're reliable, but heavy, limited by how magnetic forces flow through their cylindrical structure. Woolmer's approach was different. By creating an axial flux design, he flipped the conventional layout into something flatter, more efficient, and far more powerful. In this design, the magnetic field moves parallel to the axis of rotation, allowing a compact pancake-shaped motor that generates immense torque and power from a very small footprint. For years, the company operated under the radar, building prototypes types and small-scale production units for performance manufacturers. Their motors soon found homes in some of the most prestigious cars in the world, including the Ferrari SF90 Stradale, the Koenigsegg Regera, and several McLaren concept vehicles. Each partnership further proved Yasser's design could deliver real-world results far beyond theory. Engineers and enthusiasts began to notice. By 2021, the rest of the automotive world could no longer ignore what was happening in Oxford. Mercedes-Benz, preparing to transition fully into the electric era, saw Yasa as the perfect key to unlocking the next level of EV performance. That year, Mercedes officially acquired Yasa Limited, making it a wholly owned subsidiary. The German automaker announced plans to integrate Yasa's axial flux technology into its future AMG performance models and electric supercars. Yasa, meanwhile, would continue operating independently from its Oxford headquarters, leading innovation and development in high-density motor design. The acquisition was no coincidence. Mercedes-Benz had long pursued advanced electric propulsion, but the Yasa design offered something the company had never achieved, motors that could deliver unparalleled power density without exotic materials or excessive weight. With Yasa aboard, Mercedes gained a unique advantage in the coming EV arms race. Yasa's success comes down to numbers so impressive, they almost sound unreal. Earlier in 2025, the company announced it had broken its own world record for power density again. The new motor weighs just 12.7 kilograms, yet produces a peak output of 750 kilowatts, or roughly 1,000 horsepower. That means each kilogram of motor delivers about 59 kilowatts of power, making it the most power-dense electric motor ever built. To put that into perspective, a typical combustion engine in a performance car weighs 200 to 400 kilograms. Even the lightest high-end turbocharged engines can barely manage 1.5 to 2 kilowatts per kilogram. The difference is staggering. Imagine replacing a massive, complex, multi-component engine with a small, almost handheld disc that delivers the same or greater power output. Yasa had already made headlines earlier in the year with another version of its motor that produced 550 kilowatts, about 738 horsepower, from 13 kilograms of weight, equivalent to 42 kilowatts per kilogram. At the time, that alone was considered revolutionary. But within months, Yasa surpassed its own milestone. The new prototype, lighter and even more refined, reached the 59 kilowatts per kilogram benchmark, a figure no other manufacturer has approached. According to the company, the continuous power, not just peak bursts, sits between 350 and 400 kilowatts, equal to roughly 470 to 540 horsepower. This means the motor can sustain incredible performance without overheating or losing efficiency. These figures are not theoretical computer simulations or marketing estimates. The motors have been tested on a dynamometer, confirming real-world data under load. 
unlike internal combustion engines, which often measure power at the flywheel, a figure that doesn't reflect what actually reaches the wheels. Yasser's data reflects direct output. It's a practical demonstration of engineering precision, not a guess. Now imagine combining four of these motors in one vehicle. Together, they would weigh only about 51 kilograms and could, in theory, produce over 4,000 horsepower. Such power levels once belonged exclusively to fantasy or aerospace engineering, yet here they are, compact, scalable, and efficient. With this, the line between electric vehicles and traditional performance cars is vanishing. The brilliance of Yasser's technology isn't just in raw numbers, it's also in its simplicity. Despite the extraordinary performance, Yasser doesn't rely on exotic materials like titanium or rare earth metals. The motors use standard industrial materials combined with clever engineering and advanced thermal management systems that keep temperatures stable even under extreme loads. Their compact, scalable structure means they can fit into a wide range of vehicles, from supercars to electric motorcycles, and potentially even aircraft. Inside the company's Oxford Innovation Centre, engineers continue refining their designs, pushing for more efficiency and greater manufacturability. According to Yasser's leadership, the goal is to move from prototype to large-scale production, enabling mass adoption across the Mercedes-Benz lineup and beyond. This would make the technology available not only for limited edition performance cars, but also for next-generation electric sedans and SUVs. Mercedes-Benz has already begun integrating axial flux concepts into its AMG performance division, where engineers are designing compact electric drivetrains capable of extreme acceleration and precise torque vectoring. Future AMG models could feature dual or quad motor setups based entirely on Yasser's architecture. In this scenario, electric performance would far surpass that of current combustion engine sports cars, both in speed and responsiveness. For many traditional car enthusiasts, this marks a bittersweet turning point. The roar of V8S and the mechanical thrill of combustion have long defined automotive passion, but technology like Yasser's demonstrates how quickly the future is overtaking nostalgia. Electric motors like these deliver instant torque, zero emissions, and minimal moving parts, with efficiency levels internal combustion engines could never reach. As Yasser's founder once said, we're not here to make electric cars faster, we're here to make them better. Yasser's achievements are also reshaping the conversation about what makes a powerful car. Today, brands like Ferrari, Porsche, and Bugatti still rely on massive engines to achieve top speeds. Yet, vehicles powered by high-density electric motors are already matching or surpassing those figures. The BYD Yangwang U9, for example, recently set speed records close to 496 km per hour, driven by electric propulsion. The idea of four compact motors producing more than 3,000 horsepower no longer sounds impossible. It's becoming expected. Beyond performance, there's another reason Yasser's approach matters. Efficiency and sustainability are core to the global shift toward electric transportation. By designing motors that require fewer materials, less space, and lower manufacturing costs, Yasser helps reduce environmental impact across the production chain. The absence of exotic materials also lessens dependence on rare earth mining, making electric mobility more sustainable in the long term. Inside the labs, Yasser's engineers are already looking to the next challenge, scaling production and further improving cooling systems and integration techniques. The company's research also explores how axial flux motors could be paired with solid-state batteries or hydrogen-electric hybrid systems for future mobility applications. Mercedes-Benz, with its global resources, plans to help turn these possibilities into reality. For now, Yasser remains a symbol of how innovation can emerge from curiosity and persistence. What began as a university project has transformed into one of the most promising breakthroughs in modern engineering. Their partnership with Mercedes-Benz stands as a testament to how legacy automakers and startups can work together to redefine performance and sustainability at once. 
It's likely that within the next few years, the fastest cars on the planet will no longer rely on combustion or even hybrid systems. They will rely on small, efficient electric motors like Yassas, motors weighing less than a large dog, but capable of outpacing every supercar ever made. The numbers may seem surreal, but they represent the new reality of motion. As Yasa continues to refine its designs and expand its production capacity, the world stands on the verge of another leap forward. The once impossible idea of a lightweight motor with more than 1,000 horsepower has become a working prototype, ready for real-world deployment. The next generation of electric vehicles will not just match combustion engines, they will leave them far behind. Speed's future, it seems, has a British accent and a Mercedes badge.